guys, welcome back to my channel, hope you've all had a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be a testing video of this um, brush cleaner. It's by Swirl and Sparkle, it looks like this, and it's um, Tropical Oasis. It includes goat's milk, coconut oil, safflower oil, palm oil, oat conditioner and glycerin. Um, so I was sent this by the lovely Lightning Lass in a box swap I did not that long ago. Um, and I think, if I remember rightly, she said she bought it off of Beauty Bay. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to be testing it out for you guys in this video. And it says, Swell and Sparkle is an all-natural and cruelty-free makeup brush cleanser that magically melts makeup residue, dead skin, oils and bacteria off your brushes while conserving water and product. Just follow our method. Start with a cup of clean water to dip your brush in, moisten the container and begin swirling. The first time you swirl, do not be disheartened. It may take... A little longer to loosen up the gunk. Rinse and repeat as needed as soon as you're and soon your patience will be rewarded with beautiful bubbles that rinse clear from your brush. Wait, do not waste those bubbles in your container. It might not look pretty, but take that next brush and reuse those bubbles. The gunk will rinse out, we promise. One by one, squeeze excess water from your brush with a towel and lay flat to air dry. Dry time will be shorter and your brush bristles will feel soft, revived, and look new again. For extra stubborn brushes, use our Patent pending sugar diamond lid to act as an agitator or exfoliator. With your very last clean brush, use it to swirl and clean off any residue in the container under water. Air dry the lid, container before locking, and load it for next time. Then enjoy a well deserved cocktail for a job well done. Welcome to the SNS family. Happy swirl and sparkling. Um, so, I have already filmed this video and I did not. Sorry, I'm sitting on the path. And I did not use their method. So um, I did it as I would normally, as you will see in the video. I swelled my brush inside, held it under a running tap, and used one of these. Um, so yeah, you will see in the video how, exactly how I did it. Next time, I will definitely try using their method because I felt like I used a lot of water. Um, but at the end of this video, I will let you know exactly what I thought so you guys can see how it worked in the video before I give you my full review. I hope you enjoy it, and if you do, then you should definitely like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything fun to come. So I will see you in a minute.
nicely. It smells lovely. It smells lovely. And if I'd used the glitzy bit in the lid to actually clean my brushes and do it with their method, the like outcome might have been slightly different. Um, I did find, as you saw from the video, that with my um, oval brushes, it was a little bit difficult to get a lot of the stuff out. So in the end, I used my, you know, just a um, antibacterial hand wash and um, my sort of brush cleaner and I found that worked really well or I always find that works really well for sort of the thick clogged up foundation -y typed sort of brushes um, I also did my sponges um, using the soap just because I found it quite difficult to use um, the product um, but I did absolutely love it and I found for my sort of eyeshadow brushes and highlighting brushes and things like that it worked an absolute dream um but next time i think i will definitely try their method to see if i can save a bit more water um but yeah this is it i'm not going to look it up for you guys um purely because it was given to me as a gift and um, so i don't want to know how much it is but if you head on to beauty bay and you type in swirl and sparkle then i'm sure you will be able to find the product yourself um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this review i'm sorry i didn't use the method that they suggested um but i thought i'd just do it how i normally do it just to see if i could get you know a good use out of it next time i think i will definitely try their method see if i can change a bit more water save a bit more water um but all in all i like the product and i think for like i said for my eyeshadow brushes and sort of smaller face brushes it's a really like really nice product but for those that are sort of clogged up with foundation and things it's going to take a lot longer to use this and it's so much quicker to use my soap um, but I did love the product, so you should definitely head over to Beauty Bay and see if you can get your hands on one. Um, but yeah, I like it and it smells gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Take care, I will see you guys very soon. And don't forget to get involved in my 500 subscriber giveaway that is linked in the description down below. Bye!